With the recent reports about how Sega and Bandai Namco are starting to make games with global standards in mind, it raises the question of how this compares to the Like a Dragon series' original approach. Like a Dragon was referenced in the new article with the executive producer saying, Many representations which were normal in Japan in the first Like a Dragon games are no longer acceptable today. We ask our teams in the United States and Europe to read the game script, and they tell us if they see things that wouldn't be acceptable in their country. However, the original creator and head of the series recently left Sega in 2021, alongside the departure of the series director, and it turns out that the original creator had a rather different philosophy when it comes to the series. In an interview in 2019, which you can find linked in the description, he was asked, I'm actually very curious to know how you feel about the popularity of Japanese games, and especially the Yakuza games and Judgment. They're very, very Japanese games, has the popularity increased recently worldwide, and has that affected their development now? To which he answered, The steps for the development team has really been that. First and foremost, we think about the Japanese audience, and then we start thinking about Asian audiences. We make sure we create a game that's good and fun for them. Hopefully this game will reach as many audiences in the West as possible. There's that order to things when we're developing. And that mindset is something that I don't think will change even as we go on. Because if we start thinking about different audiences, catering to all these different people, it will really lessen the appeal of what we're making here. And so this definitely gives a very different impression than the approach the series is taking now. He said the team focuses on the Japanese market first and foremost, and in the process he hopes it is something that Western gamers will enjoy as well. He even goes on to say that he doesn't believe this approach will change, and that if they start trying to appeal to all audiences, it will really lessen the appeal of the games. And this of course appears to be a direct contradiction of what the recent report explained, with the report speaking to various people at Bandai and Sega about how western localization teams are starting to be directly involved in the creation process of Japanese games to ensure global standards for all versions of a game. If you have not seen the channel's previous video on the report, you can find it linked in the description, and as always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.